Here I have a perfect example of when a full bike side hop drop is beneficial. I'm going to be coming down this and I have to turn before the gravel. I'm going to act like that's the ribbon. So if I just roll straight down, the front tire is either going to land there and the skid plate is going to hit or it's going to land too far. I'll roll out of the ribbon and get a five. So what I want to do is get completely sideways and do a side hop drop down onto this one. To do that, you want to start by working your way as close to the edge as possible. Do small hops front and rear. Once you find your balance near the edge, that's when you want to start leaning the bike and your body slightly in the direction you want to go. Then compress your body down, stopping on the foot pegs and pushing on the handlebars but you want to push harder on the inside peg and the direction that you want to go. In this case, I'm jumping off to the right. I'm going to want to stomp on the right peg and then jump up, squeeze up into my ankles, pull up by my hands with the handlebars, but I'm going to pull up harder on the right grip to try to get the bike to rotate back to center before it drops down. You really want to squeeze hard with your ankles and pull up as hard as you can because you want to clear the distance. If you don't clear the distance and come up short, it's going to hurt. So you really want to make sure you get out far enough and this one's so tight that I can't go too far, so it's very precise where I have to take off from and where I have to land. So I want to be looking at my landing as I'm leaning at the top. And also I'm going to keep the clutch in and keep both brakes on the entire time and try to land and land balanced. When you jump up, you want to throw your hips and shoulders in the direction you want to go. Try to engage your core to keep everything working together. If you're having a hard time getting both tires to come up high enough, you can try to use a little bit of throttle and clutch as you compress and when you're ready to rebound, that's when you let the clutch out. Not all the way, you slip it a bit with a small amount of throttle, let off the brakes for a split second and that can help lift both tires up and hopefully clear the distance you need. But you should keep working on it using less and less clutch until you can do it with none. That way you can do a side hop drop with no forward movement. Once you land, just keep the clutch in, the brakes on and soak it up a bit with your arms and legs. Before you try to drop off of anything with this technique, you should be very comfortable hopping the full bike up and down without the engine running. To do that, have the clutch in and both brakes on. Start with your body nice and tall before dropping it down into the bike. Really stomp on the foot pegs, push on the handlebars, try to get both suspensions to compress as much as you can, try to make them bottom out. Then when it's rebounding, that's when you jump up and really grip with your ankles to try to get the rear tire to lift and stay with you and then pull on the handlebars like you're doing a pull up to get the front tire up and hopefully the bike will jump in the air with you. You don't need either tire to go in the air all that much since when you drop you'll be leaning the bike and jumping away from the obstacle. You don't need to go up but you definitely need to get both tires into the air to clear the edge of it. Just like all the other trials techniques it's important to start small. This one you can start by learning on the flat ground then take it to something a couple inches tall and then as big as you really want to go. 